hi guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to show you all how to do a pre bridal glam and here with me is my client for her pre wedding shots and i'm just going to quickly show you guys how i was able to achieve this if you're watching me for the first time please do not forget to hit the subscribe button like share and also comment in the comment section so the first thing i did was to use a hair gel on her brows just so that the, the brows can um have this particular standing effect thereafter i went in with my mist spray just so that the makeup can last for a long time i had some things i just mixed some um makeup products into the mist and after that i went in with my setting spray and just this is just so that the makeup can last for a long time this whole process and it actually did on her so after that i went in with face primer and this face primer is from flawless ivy and i'm just quickly going to concentrate on the t-zone area most especially and i'm going to use my beauty blender and blend that properly into her skin okay before i move further i just want to um, appreciate this girl's skin like it's beautiful everything that I applied just sat into her skin like it just sank into her skin it was so so beautiful I didn't need to struggle I didn't need to do too much and I kept on appreciating her skin she knew about it she was just blushing <laughs> So what I'm using now is foundation and this foundation is from Nuban. I'm going to drop the shade in the description box so that you guys can see. Just look at how that blended into her skin properly. At this point, I'm going in with V Beauty Concealer and I'm just going to apply that on her T-zone area which is the forehead, the jaw and then underneath her eyes. So make sure you do not do too much, just want something subtle and light so that the makeup will not feel so heavy on her face so apply that on her t-zone areas just to highlight the face a little bit and also on her nose and then make sure you blend 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 because you want to achieve a very smooth and a nice makeup so i was just blending softly and it was nice so I'm going to contour using a darker shade of foundation from Zikel and this shade is in 025 so that it will give me an orange effect because she already has a light skin. So I'm just going to contour the cheekbone and then towards the forehead so that it will blend properly with her neck. So at this point I'm going to contour the nose and I'm just quickly going to go over to the sides of the nose just so that I can chisel it down a little bit. And it can give me a pointed effect and after doing that i'm just going to blend 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 so that everything comes out nice so you need to make sure that you blend all over the face blend all over the face so that everything can look nice so for her blush i went in with an orange shade from my cheek cosmetic lip palette and i'm just going to swap the sides of the beauty blender i'm going to use the under part of the beauty blender and then apply this orange shade on her cheekbone most especially just to give it an orange natural effect so i'm going to blend that blend that and then towards the forehead also so right now i'm going to pick up my powder palette from flawless ivy and then the areas where i highlighted i'm going to go in with a lighter shade and then the areas where i contoured i'll go in with a shade that is in that of the contour and then the areas where um i just need to use a, a normal shade of her skin tone i'm going to use that shade of powder i hope that i hope that is understood for the highlighted area i'm going to go in with a shade of powder that is three tones lighter than that of our skin tone and then for the blush i'm going in with m and f orange eyeshadow palette and this is a, a collaboration with favor and zikel and it actually comes out so nice like I, I i really love this eyeshadow palette it gives me what i want i can use it for eyeshadow i can use it for blush it just comes out so nice and subtle so i'm going to go in with the darker shade of powder again on the contoured part 
of her nose so that it comes out nicely because we don't have we don't need to have a wet effect on the face it's a pre-wedding glam so you need the makeup to last long and she actually said that she needed this makeup for um an event later on in the day so i just needed to do everything so that the makeup would last for a very very long time which was what i did so you need to make sure that you have a powdered effect on the face not do not do too much just make sure that you have a powdered effect on the face and that the face is not wet as wet as it was when we apply foundation and concealer so just make sure you powder um the face in general and then at this point i'm going to do a quick reverse contour just so that the um cheekbone can come out can pop out a little bit better than it was and then we're quickly going to move over to the brow at this point so i'm going to work with davis brow pencil and then all i'm going to do is of course you know guys the usual i'm going to draw a thin line underneath her brow and then move over to the top of the brow and then draw another thin line at the top of the brow to connect it with the the one underneath the brow so you need to make sure that you use a spoolie you need to make sure that you brush the brows properly so that it can look subtle and nice at this point i'm just going in with light strokes using the davis brow pen tool and you really do not need to do too much if you want something subtle so right now i'm going to highlight underneath her arc and i'm just going to go in with a lighter shade of concealer and this concealer is from v beauty and i'm just going to highlight underneath the arc just so that it pops and then use the shade of her foundation towards the inner corner of the brow and after doing that i'm just quickly going to blend everything but for the top of the brow i'm also going to use the shade of foundation in her skin tone and then blend everything properly so that's it basically so i'm quickly going to do the same thing on the other side of her face also and you need to make sure that the brows look like sister so I'll pick up this eye primer from ben 9 and then apply on her crease area just make sure you apply on the both sides of her eyes and then i'll also go in with this orange shade of shadow from dominique eyeshadow palette it's actually a foreign brand and i'll do the same thing on the other side of the eye and then after doing that for the outer corner of her eyes i'm going to go in with a burnt brown shade and then blend that properly and also towards the transition area so right now i'm going to go in with black shade of shadow just so that the eyes can pop out a little bit more yeah so at this point i'm also going to highlight underneath the brow using a lighter shade of powder and then towards the inner corner of the brow using the shade in her skin tone yes at this point glitter 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 if you want your eye makeup to pop very very well you need to go in with pigments or glitters anything with shimmer actually does the work so once you're done with the eyes if you want the makeup like the eye makeup to really really pop after applying your glitters or your pigment you can apply a black shade of liner underneath the eyes and then the top of the eyes it's a brighter glam we really want everything to be neat and we want it to pop so apply a black shade of liner underneath the eyes and then the top of the lid and give it a little bit of cut eyes and you're good to go and then underneath the eyes also i'll go in with a gold shade of shadow and then just blend that towards the outer corner a little bit she actually told me that she um doesn't use lashes she doesn't use falses and that they usually disturb her eyes so we just skipped that aspect we didn't apply um falses at all so i just went ahead and then brought out the lashes underneath her eyes just so that the makeup can actually come out better so right now i'm going to apply this brown shade of lippy from chic cosmetics just to outline the outer corner of her lip for the upper and the lower parts 
and then moving on i'm quickly going to go in with nude 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 all the way so you can actually watch the process and see how i was able to achieve this beautiful lip combination like the lip combination just came out really really nice first off i went in with a pink shade thereafter i went in with white so this is just me applying a white shade of lippy all over her lips and then blending it properly asking how to smudge to smack her lips together so that we could actually get what we wanted and we did so for the sides of the lips the outer corner i'm just going in with pink as well and then blending everything with white basically and you can just imagine you can just see how beautiful it is already so i'm going to apply gloss at this point and blend everything properly moving on we are going to dust, dust off the excess powder on her face so i'm going to pick up my powder brush and then dust off the excess powder from the face so that we can have a very clean and a beautiful work you don't want flashbacks whenever you want to take pictures of um, yourself with your phone so you need to make sure that all the white shades everything goes off you can just leave a little amount of it just so that where needs to be highlighted is highlighted and where needs to be contoured is contoured so i'm going to bring down like make sure that i bring down the light shade underneath her eyes a little bit because for me i feel it's too much so i'm just going to bring it down a little bit and that's what we have guys look at how beautiful the makeup is already so i'm quickly going to go in with a gold shade of shadow on the cheekbone like so just to highlight it a little bit yep and then for the middle of the nose the bridge right there i'm going to highlight it with a gold shade of shadow also and then for the tip of the nose just so that the makeup can pop her jaw her forehead basically guys yeah you can see how beautiful the makeup is already so i'm going to go in with finishing spray and this is just so that the makeup can last for a long time so this is it guys thank you all for watching this video so if you want to achieve something like this you must not necessarily have all the products that i use like from the same brand you could actually just make use of the products you have right there with you it mustn't necessarily be from the same brand but if you just follow the same process that i showed you guys you're definitely going to achieve something like this so the good thing is that i carried out a litmus test and it actually did work she went for the event and came back five hours later and then to select her pictures to collect pictures from me and videos and the makeup was still intact yeah so thank you guys so much for watching i do hope that this video was helpful if it was please don't forget to hit the subscribe button like share if you've not watched my previous videos please do that because you're going to learn new tricks new hacks and how to apply makeup see you guys in my next video